All right, what is going on guys? Got an update video here on the uh, Oldsmobile. Um, it's not really quite the update that I was uh, looking forward to giving you guys. Um, because honestly, it's going back to a, another shop um, because it actually might possibly have a, um, a transmission problem or a transaxle problem. I can't really explain to you what the car is doing, but it's doing something that definitely is not normal um, without a doubt um, now the other shop had done the harmonic balancer which was bad so they, they didn't rip me off I mean they, they did do good work um, and I told them part of the reason why I took this car off the road was because of this issue that it was having um, but I kind of figured um, once I kind of fixed it, <coughs> the things that were wrong with it I honestly thought maybe it might be my harmonic balancer that was causing this for whatever reason I know I sound stupid but I thought it actually might have been the harmonic balancer causing this issue um because that the harmonic balancer i know it like operates your uh you know it operates pretty much your whole engine like i, I can't explain it. it runs off the belt so like if that thing's out of whack it throws your engine i'll show you the harmonic balancer it throws everything off like you know it, it needs to be in sync with the you know the motion of your you know crankshaft and all of that But yeah, right down there's a harmonic balancer, and if you see it runs off the belt, like I said, if that is, isn't, you know, if it's out of balance, which mine was, it can throw things off and actually can ruin your engine. So, I mean, and that needed to be done, but I thought that was actually kind of what was causing the issue, but it wasn't. Um, and I thought when I was driving it that day, and I'm like, okay, well, possibly just, you know, some of the, I thought maybe it might be my fuel pump. <coughs> because I remember what happened was, is I was driving this car to work one day, and, um, it started acting up, it started doing this issue, and I remember I was low on gas. And um, I remember I filled it, I didn't fill it up, I think I put like, uh, maybe like five bucks worth of gas. Um, and it, it was still doing it. So I thought, okay, maybe I'm just, maybe it's like my, my fuel pump, because I remember we changed the fuel pump in it um, a, years ago. And what happened was, is I remember we couldn't get the fuel pump to fully sit like we couldn't, it's like a thing you twist and like you lock it. I remember we couldn't get it to fully twist. Like it, it just, whatever reason, wouldn't click into place and lock. I'm like, okay, maybe it rattled, got loose, whatever. And now when I turn, because every time when I turn right, this car makes a horrible like vibrating and like jerking feeling. So I thought maybe when I turn right, <clears throat> the fuel pump is like shifting and it's not getting proper fuel. So I filled the car up. Um, I filled the car up and it's still doing it. So it's definitely not the two things that I thought it might be. Um, now I had my friend's dad drive it. He was a mechanic for you know X amount of years, whatever, and he said it it, it possibly feels like it could be the transmission or the um, like the the axle, like the CV axle. Um, I'm 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 hoping if anything it's going to be the CV axle. That won't be too expensive to fix. A new axle for this is literally like forty five dollars or fifty bucks. So if it's an axle, that's fine with me. <clears throat> um, not that big a deal but if it is indeed the transmission um, that is going to be very costly and I got to be honest I mean if it's I don't want to dump too much more money into it I mean as much as I love this car this is like my first car and I, I told myself I would never get rid of this car I mean it just where I'm at right now it just it just doesn't seem worth it to me um, to do it's two super crazy expensive things to it I mean, I, I am willing to spend uh, more money on it. Um, I'm, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I, I am willing to put more money into it. I'm not going to say, you know, I'm done with the car. Um, but let's just say if it hits a certain number, I'm not going to fix it. Um, look at the squirrel, look at the squirrel. Look at my car, look at it. Speaking of squirrels, those damn squirrels... This is another problem I have, but this is an easy fix. I'm not that worried about it. It's annoying, really, but I'll be able to take care of it. If you look under my car, I don't know if you're able to see it, but if you look right there, they chewed. See the hole right there in my line? Kind of hard to see, but the freaking squirrels chewed a, a hole in that rubber line there. They like the taste of gas. They actually had done it before. See, if you look, I had the metal, um, 
metal netting there around that one. I put that on there because they were literally chewing that line up and that line is, you know, what feeds gas to your engine. So what I did is I just put like a hose with a, a metal wrapping around it. That way they couldn't chew that line. But now they're chew chewing this one. It doesn't leak gas unless your tank is full. So, um, it only leaks when my tank is full. Like when, they, when the guy was filling up at the gas station, as soon as I got close to being full, the gas started pouring out everywhere. All because of those damn squirrels. So, I'm going to have to replace that line. Well, I may not be replacing the line depending on, you know, what the issue is with my current, you know, what's currently going on with it. But, um, <clears throat> if, I, if it, you know, it is fixable and it's not too expensive, I'm going to get that line fixed. I'm assuming I could probably just get that from parts store or something. I don't know. I, I got to try to find one that has like a metal wrapping around it because they, like I said, they chew the damn fuel lines on this. The squirrels in my area, I swear to God, they're like rabid squirrels. Um, they literally chew, we used to have a lawnmower out here, um, on the side of the house, and they, like, chewed all the gas lines on that, um, they had, we had something else out here, too, that had, like, gas in it, and they, they chewed it all up, like, destroyed it, so, I don't know if you guys have the issue, but the squirrels around here, they're, like, freaking rabid squirrels, I swear to God, they're, like, maniacs, but, I don't know, currently, right now, um, it is gonna be going to the shop today, and today is gonna we're gonna find out how much you know how much it is gonna be i'm hoping it's like you know just a couple hundred bucks or something but my luck it's probably not you know i really don't know what i'm gonna do i really don't want to sell it's really a shame because i know if i do sell it to someone and they end up putting trains in it well i, I got to put some some grease on that but they're honestly gonna just whoever owns this car is just gonna destroy it you know because these cars you know no one cares about them this is just some you know piece of crap car to get from point a to point b whatever but to me this car is very uh it's very special i love this car as, as stupid as this car is i absolutely love it i don't know i just i know whoever i sell it to they're gonna just not take care of it and this car eventually will die as like for me i wanted to try to you know keep it alive like honestly as long as i can you know but um I don't know this is gonna happen. I mean, it's got somewhat low miles. It's only got 110 on it. I've only put maybe the 40 miles on it since everything's been, you know, up and going with it. <clears throat> but the problem, it just, it's not drivable. I mean, I'm gonna drive it to the trans, the transmission guy today, because um, he's actually very good at diagnosing problems, even if it isn't a training issue or whatever. He's usually always good at figuring out what the problem is. Like, even though he, he won't fix it, because he only does transmissions and axles. He's actually worked on my, my Crown Vic over there. He worked on that. Um, when I got into the accident, he did uh, my axle. He put new axle a new axle tube in it. Um, I forget what else he did. I think he did do pinion bearings. So I've used him before. Um, and he's the one that also did the training fluid on my car one time. So I was having trans issues. And I had another shop do my trans fluid, but they never did it. So I, I ended up bringing it to him. And he said that you got ripped off. They never changed it. And after he changed the fluid, then the car seemed okay. So... He's a pretty good guy, and uh, he always, you know, he's definitely doesn't try to rip you off or anything. So, hopefully he can at least figure out what's going on with it, even if he doesn't fix it. And then I can kind of go from there and, and, you know, just, you know, just pretty much just go from there and, you know, figure everything out. I mean, other than that, this car is ready to go. I mean, I got brand new tires on here. These tires are okay. These are the uh, Hankook Optimo. They're kind of noisy. Um... You do like 40, 50 miles an hour, you can you can literally hear the tire like like you can hear them driving down the road. I've never actually owned tires that I can actually hear like people complain like oh these tires are noisy and I I don't know like I never really heard tire noise besides like if someone was running like you know big swamper tires or something on like a jeep or a truck or whatever those tires yeah you can hear but I mean that's to be expected with a tire like that but I never actually heard these are like the first set of tires that I actually hear when I'm driving down the road which honestly I don't even care it's just. I don't know, it's kind of weird how, like, a tire this small makes that much noise. I don't know. But, I mean, here it is, guys. I was really hoping today I could make a video of, like, me installing my speakers because I have... I'll show you. I'll pop the trunk real quick. I actually have my key on me this time. Now, if you don't know, in case you're... I think maybe I showed the other video, but in case you don't know, the square key on the old GM keys is to start it. The round one is to unlock things. That was like a GM thing. But yeah, here we go. I mean, I got stuff back here I gotta get rid of, but there's my amp. 
in case you want the model on. They probably even make that amp anymore. It's kind of old. But, um, I mean, yeah, here's an amp. There's my box. This is actually a custom made box. Me and my cousin made this, believe it or not. Um, and also, here's my, uh, my subwoofer. It's got a 10 inch uh, Rockford Falls Gate P3. So, I mean, it, it, it bumped pretty good and I had it going. I ended up on, I end, it ended up taking all the wires out. Really long story with that. I just I don't even want to get into it, but I ended up taking all the, um, you know, I ended up undoing all the speakers and everything. So nothing's hooked up right now, but I still have everything. So what I'm going to do is, well, if I'm going to do it, but I planned on maybe today, um, hooking all that up. But, um, obviously if I'm having problems with the car and I might be getting rid of it, I'm not going to even bother doing that. So. I'm really hoping that uh, it is fixable, but I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it. <clears throat> I mean, I paid for the insurance in full already for it. So I'm hoping um, I can just kind of get refunded the money that I put down on it, even if I lose a couple hundred bucks. Oh, sorry, a couple hundred bucks on the insurance, whatever. Because, um, I mean, I got it. I paid for the insurance for the full year. So I'm kind of just hoping... Uh, you know, they'll, they'll refund me at least most of my money. Like I said, even if I lose a couple hundred bucks, whatever, I understand. But, um, I mean, here it is. So this, this, I mean, this honestly, I don't say it's going to be the last video, but this might be one of the last videos you see this car. Um, honestly, if it's not fixable, the last video you're going to see is probably the next one. Be like, hey, listen, it's getting sold. You know, I'm not going to junk it. I'm probably going to try to sell it. I mean, even if I get 400 bucks out of it, you know, <coughs> you know, someone will part it out. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's really, I'm kind of bummed out about it. It's, it's really, I don't know, it's aggravating. I'm like upset and I'm like annoyed at the same time. But I mean, here it is. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know what's going on with it. But I mean, I actually, when I took it on the parkway, um, I got it up to like 85, I was doing like 80, 85, and I'll tell you what, it was actually driving really good. B believe it or not, amazingly, I would say it almost ran as good as the Crown Vic over there. Like smoothness wise, like on the parkway, this thing was really smooth, like, it wasn't like, there's no vibration, there was no nothing, it honestly felt like super solid driving down the parkway. I mean, on, this, 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 the shocks in this, I'm pretty sure the shocks in this are original, I mean, this thing's from 1992, so... I mean, these shocks have definitely seen, you know, a lot of action since 1992. And this thing still drives great. So, I mean, it really is a nice car. There's really not that much rust on it. It has some surface rust, but if you were to just take care of that, just put a little, not even bond though, but if you were to just get this car painted, it would be fine because there's no rot. It's just all surface. Like right here, if you look, it's just surface. You know what I mean? Like this car really has no rot. It's pretty clean considering... Um, the only rot that it actually does have, which I'm thinking about just kind of, well, if I end up, once again, if I end up fix, keeping the car and fixing it, um, is right here. That is, like, the only rot it has. But, I mean, what I could do is I can just put some, like, uh, friggin', uh, what do you call it? The, uh, I, I can't even think of the name of it. The, um, the Flex Seal. Put some, like, Flex Seal in there. Something just temporary, just, you know what I mean? kind of just deal with that but but whatever here it is guys not the video i was looking to shoot today but like i said i'll keep you guys posted and this might be one of the last videos you see on this car so all right see you guys later peace out